When the game's over, you've revealed your hand. You realize it's a losing hand and you don't accept defeat, but you just keep on playing over and over and over with the same hand, hoping that eventually that hand will be a winner. Well, that, in my opinion, equals the very definition of stupidity. Honda and Toyota are joining together in their desperate desire to get you, the consumer, to buy a hydrogen engined vehicle. I'm not talking a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, but a hydrogen engine powered vehicle. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate your support and also our YouTube members as well. Honda has joined Toyota's hydrogen engine push. Now, there is a very big difference between a hydrogen engine powered vehicle and a vehicle that is basically an electric car with a hydrogen fuel cell. One of them possibly one day could catch on to some degree. The other one is just utter sheer lunacy. Now, I don't know if you've seen Fast and the Furious. Probably not a lot of the people that watch this channel will watch that kind of movie or watch that series of movie. But anyway, in that movie, a lot of people have, they have these cars, they tune them up and they put massive boost through internal combustion engine vehicles, right? Massive boost. So lots of oxygen being pumped into the car and they run them what is called very lean. In other words, very hot. Very lean equals more, more power. But it also means that at any moment, the vehicle could become too hot, melt the pistons, and the engine could destroy itself. Well, here's the challenge with a hydrogen engine. They have to run very, very lean. I mean, incredibly lean. So, if Honda and Toyota were able to convince somehow, amazingly, I don't know how they're going to do this, but somehow convince the buying public to buy a vehicle, which is an internal combustion engine vehicle with a hydrogen engine instead of an internal combustion gasoline or diesel engine, then, well, customers would have to be willing to accept the fact that it's basically like bolting on six turbochargers and hoping that your engine will survive in the long term. And now we know that my point here that I made about hydrogen engines quite a long time ago has sort of borne a bit of fruit since Toyota actually melted their own hydrogen engine in testing not that long ago. But clearly Honda thinks, well, Toyota, they're onto a winner here for sure. They melted their engine. It must be, a, must be good. Anyway, Honda and Suzuki are joining with Kawasaki, Yamaha and Toyota the big power players in Japan to try to convince you that you should buy a car with a hydrogen internal combustion engine. Now, interestingly, they don't plan on just making these for cars. They plan on you buying a motorcycle, a boat, a drone, a lawnmower, or even a mini car with a hydrogen engine. Very interesting. What all of this means is the Toyota-led push to plug hydrogen combustion as a path to carbon neutrality has gained backing from its rivals, Honda and Suzuki, plus, of course, the other companies I just mentioned, in their desire to try to fight off the impending electric revolution, which is at full steam right now, even in the US, definitely in Europe, and for certain in China, where EVs now make up nearly 40% of all cars sold. Honda and Suzuki will join Kawasaki Motors and Yamaha to develop hydrogen combustion engines for small mobility, a category they say covers mini cars, mini vehicles, motorcycles, boats, construction equipment, drones, and well, basically anything you can think of. Now, why on earth you'd want a hydrogen powered drone when electric ones seem to work incredibly well, I don't know. I don't know if anyone could really answer that question. Can you? If you can make a compelling case, please let us all know in the comment section. I'd be fascinated to see what that compelling case would be for a hydrogen powered drone with an internal combustion engine. This new effort announced only a few days ago injects fresh energy into a clean powertrain strategy championed by Toyota Motor Corporation, which has largely been a lone voice in the wilderness of internal combustion hydrogen engines. Now, I don't think many people realize the incredible temperatures these engines have to run at. They're very, very different to an internal combustion powered gasoline engine. That will present some very interesting challenges for these Japanese automakers who are clearly not all in on EVs. 
Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't be doing investing hundreds of millions of dollars into this technology. Toyota chairman Akio Toyota has been positioning hydrogen as the answer to carbon neutrality for a number of years. Japan's biggest automaker has been developing hydrogen burning engines and deploying them in race cars. And the, and the man himself will actually race a hydrogen engine vehicle in the Fuji Speedway race endurance race within the next couple of weeks. As recently as 2021, Honda CEO Toshihiro Meeb had shrugged off the potential of hydrogen burning engines. He said Honda had studied the technology but didn't see it as feasible. Well, now he's obviously had a good talk to his buddies at Toyota and Yamaha and I don't know, maybe someone else, and they've convinced him the error of his ways. Don't go all in on EVs. Hydrogen engines are really what you should be investing in. Trust us, it'll work. Mm. Yeah, Honda is changing its tune. Now, this is in spite of the fact that Honda, Toyota, Mazda, Nissan have, as a group, lost around 40% of their vehicle sales in China this year. That's, a, that's their most important car market in the world, and they're losing market share at a rapid pace because they don't really, they don't really sell many compelling electric cars there. Their answer to this is, well, never know, maybe we'll be able to sell hydrogen engine vehicles to the Chinese. Or maybe they've just given up on China. Honda, Suzuki, Kawasaki, and Yamaha said in a joint statement they will form a new research association called HYSE, short for Hydrogen Small Mobility and Engine Technology. Toyota will serve as an adjunct member of the group, drawing on its research for use in larger vehicles. Research and development targeted at commercialization of mobility with engines powered by hydrogen deemed a next generation energy source is gaining momentum, they said. The only thing is, so are electric cars, and the technology in electric cars this year is rapidly improving. I mean, we're seeing lithium ion phosphate batteries bring the price of battery technologies down a long way to below 85 US dollars per kilowatt hour. At the same time, we're seeing energy density of those battery packs continue to improve. However, these partners in Japan will pool their expertise and resources with the joint mission of establishing a design standard for small mobility's hydrogen-powered engine. All four companies are major motorcycle manufacturers and makers of marine engines for boats and crafts such as jet skis. But Honda and Suzuki are also top makers of popular Japan-specific mini vehicles, which comprise nearly 40% of the domestic car market in Japan. The new drivetrain is not a hydrogen fuel cell that generates electricity. Rather, the proposed powertrains rely on internal combustion, burning hydrogen instead of gasoline. The potential benefit is near zero carbon dioxide emissions. While touting the development's potential, the new partners also acknowledged big, big challenges. Hydrogen burns very fast and, a wide, and has a wide region of ignition, often resulting in unstable combustion. And there is limited storage capacity for the fuel, especially in smaller vehicles. In addressing these issues, the group said, the members of HYSC are committed to conducting fundamental research, capitalizing on their wealth of expertise and technologies in developing gasoline-powered engines, and they aim to work together. Now, just imagine if these four companies work together to create a compelling electric vehicle platform and some compelling EV batteries. Imagine what they could achieve. But no, they're choosing a different route. Now, I'm genuinely curious, does anyone who watches these videos or this channel believe that hydrogen engine powered vehicles, whether the mini or not, are the future of the automotive industry? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.